Hi there. Welcome back to the Feather Nest. I wanted to make <clears throat> a real quick video. Um, we're on <clears throat> day 20. I have a bunch of guys who have already hatched. You can see them wiggling back there. I'll show you in a minute. Um, the main thing right now is first you'll see them make a tiny little hole crack in the top of an egg or on the side maybe. Um, and then they will start to zip it around. It's funny, you'll see one that'll make a little hole and another one will pop out over here that you didn't even see and make a hole. And they do their own thing. The biggest thing to remember is don't open it. I know it's hard. That was my hardest lesson to ever learn. It's still hard. I have to, I've like trained myself to just ignore the whole thing and go do something else. And I, I come and check on them maybe once or twice a day. Um, but I don't open it. This is why another reason why I love this incubator. My other incubator has a clear top, so both of them I can look in without having to open them. The only time you need to open them is if you see an egg that has been hatching. Um, everybody else is kind of done. The rest of the eggs are done, but there's this one egg in there that's like stuck. It's been stuck for a good 24 hours or more. Then you can weigh the odds of risking it. If there are no other eggs that have cracks, no other eggs have holes, then it's safe to quickly, you know, open it, take the chicks out, open it, take the, the one egg out and help it, and then put it all back. Um, but you, you, Really, the more you open it, the more you risk um, shrink wrapping, which is the humidity drops enough quickly because you open the lid, it all escapes. So that inner layer, sorry, the parakeets are annoying. <laughs> but that inner layer will, because of that humidity drop, just around the chick and then they can't move, they can't get out. Um, so... You know, sometimes also in nature, not everybody hatches and there's a reason. And sometimes through all of my hatchings and through all of my break them open after they didn't hatch to see what did happen, things like that. Um, a lot of times the ones that don't hatch, a lot of times the ones that didn't make it, they will have something wrong with them that you couldn't see. Um, in it's nature's way of taking care of things. Um, I, I'm not saying you can do what you want. Some people save every animal that they can, and that is perfectly their intention and okay to do. Um, I kind of let nature handle most things. Um, as I say that, I have a sick chicken in here that I've been babying. So, I mean, you, you weigh your own odds, but you don't want to risk shrink wrapping let's say five or six in there for the one that probably has a problem. Um, so, you know, think twice. Don't just react with, oh, i got to help it. And um, it's better to let them do their own thing. They can stay in there for three days. Once they've hatched, they live off that yolk that they absorb at the last minute. Um, they take that in internally and then their body closes around it and that's what they use it's kind of like colostrum and other animals they take the yolk um let's see if we can get any glimpses of some cuties i don't know if i can let's see if i can turn this around that might help Okay, new phone, new problems. This phone does not switch around in the middle of filming. So, we'll do what we can. You can see a lot of babies in there. You can also, I wish I could see. Oh my goodness. There are some that are still hatching. There are some that have just cracked. Here's the other side. There's somebody in there, got his head stuck in an egg. He'll be okay. He'll get out. Hopefully y'all could see some stuff. I'm sorry, this camera is not as good as the last one. New phone, new problems. 
Anyway, I will be back in probably another day, maybe two. We'll take out the guys that need to go to the brooder and we'll go over any tips or suggestions at that point. Right now, it's just a waiting game. You kind of just want to let them do their thing for the next few days. There's always one that pops out early, a day early, and that kind of helps to get the other ones going. They knock them around and crack them and help. And they chirp to each other, come on out, come on out. But they're fine in there. Lots of cute little fluffy butts. <laughs> we'll take them out in a day or two. Until then, happy hatching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks again for watching.